hi welcome back to my channel and i just want to start off by saying i know it has been a few months since i posted a video but work and life has been real so i had to focus on that a little bit but i just wanted to also say thank you we have almost 2000 subscribers now in our community i am so happy and i'm so appreciative of each and every one of you who subscribe who like who comment and who just keep returning but they're not yet subscribed i would love it if you subscribe um join the community and i also wanted to say that i have met a few of you in real life and i appreciated your kind words and your support so if you ever see me out and about you could come and respectfully say hi and you know let me know how you like the, the channel and the videos also another thing someone told me well a few people were telling me that i should have an instagram and a tiktok for this youtube page i created the instagram account so if you want you can go ahead and follow it there i'll put it up on the screen um however i don't i don't know how to use tiktok so that will take me a little bit of time to figure it out i know it isn't that complicated but i have not been on tiktok i don't have a tiktok i don't even have it on my phone so i'm gonna have to figure that out also i was thinking because there's so many new people now in the community that we that i could do a question and answer video so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments you can leave your questions in the comments below or you can leave it over on the instagram page for this youtube channel and without further ado let's get into the, into today's video now when we think about pirates we often think about loud dirty vicious boisterous characters that we've seen in movies and television and when we also picture a pirate we always think about a man who looks something like this or this Piracy has always been a male-dominated field of crime. However, there have been women throughout history who have left their mark on pirate history. So today, we're going to look at two lady pirates who have left their mark on pirate history in the Caribbean with a surprising link to Trinidad and Tobago. Their names are Anne Bonny and Mary Reed. And they were both women who were born in Europe, but somehow later in life made it down to the Caribbean to cause a lot of havoc. Anne Bonny was born in Ireland around the year 1690. The, year, the exact year has not been um, pinpointed. And Mary Reed was born in England and the year is not known. Anne Bonny was born to a wealthy father in Ireland. But they actually emigrated to what would now be known as the United States. And in 1718, Anne married a sailor, a pirate of his own, and he took her on his trips to the Caribbean. Here in the Caribbean, she met Captain Jack Rachman. He was a pirate, well known in the Caribbean at the time. And she fell in love with him and left her husband to take up with Jack. That's how they became a well-known pirate power couple. <laughs> they actually had a son um, sometime later after taking up as man and pirate and wife. And they actually went to Cuba to have the baby. And she left the baby there with some of his friends and took to the seas again. Because Mary, sorry, Anne, not Mary, Anne was a little too she thought it was too hot she wants to go on the sea she wants to go on the water she wants to be a pirate their pirate career would be the stuff of legends they would they would hijack other ships they would take all the treasures they were making money they were well known and well feared in the caribbean because they were vicious and they did not discriminate on as to what ship they were going to hijack now mary's life was very different she was born in England and to some accounts, she was known to dress as a boy from a very young age because her grandmother, for some reason, did not favor girls, but she favored boys. And 
Aunt Mary decided she was going to live with her grandmother, but she was going to pretend to be her dead brother. I don't know how true that is, but that's how the story goes. Later on in life, she stuck to the dressing as a man and got a job on a pirate ship. And that's how she got onto Captain Jack Rackman's pirate ship as parading as a man. Later on, she would go on to reveal her true self to Anne and that she was also a woman. But both Anne and Mary dressed in men's wear because at that time, they wanted to be taken seriously. Both women had very fearsome reputations as they were just as fierce, just as vicious, and just as capable of fighting sword-to-sword -sword combat as their male counterparts even striking fear in the hearts of their own crew members. One victim's account goes as follows. The captain of the ship said, and I'm reading his quote, the women helped seize 50 rolls of tobacco and nine bags of pimento from his ship. He was held hostage for two days and he complained that the women used coarse language. Well, he is lucky to still be alive and all he went through was that he <laughs> He got cuss up, right? Now, their pirate career did not last very long, only a few years of pillaging the open seas before they were actually captured by HMS Randolph and his crew at Pirates Bay in Tobago. They were there having a party, apparently, drinking rum, turning up. And Sir Randolph saw that and decided this was his only chance. He gathered his crew of men and they ambushed this crew. They ambushed Jack, Mary, Anne and their whole crew partying at Pirates Bay. Now, Jack and his merry men decided they were going to try to escape on what is called a sloop. I'll put a picture of what it is here. And they were caught immediately because, I mean, a sloop is not going to outrun a whole fleet of soldiers. However, Anne and Mary, being the vicious fighters that they were, stayed on shore and fought by themselves side by side until they were eventually overpowered because there were just too many men. Now, the whole crew was taken to Jamaica to stand trial for their crimes. And all the men, including Jack, were hanged for their crimes. However, Anne and Mary they actually escaped that death sentence because both of them revealed that they were pregnant and upon an inspection of the women it was proven that they were both in fact pregnant and said that she was pregnant for jack and mary was pregnant for another crew member on the ship now anne was allowed to see jack be hanged and it was said that she uttered these words upon his death and i'll read from the from the quote had he fought like a man, he need not be hanged like a dog. And it was said that she did not even shed a tear because Anne just gangster like that. Now there are two different accounts as to how Anne and Mary's lives played out after arrest. Some say that Anne was released from and Anne and Mary were released from prison and that Anne went on to live the rest of her days as a wealthy woman in well, St. Santiago del, de la Vega and it is said that Mary went on to be a pirate queen who eventually settled in her older days in Scarborough, Tobago. However, there is another account that Anne's father came to Jamaica and bailed her out because remember he was wealthy and took her back to South Carolina where she lived the rest of her days a wealthy woman who was given trouble over there too and that Mary actually died from a fever in the Jamaican prison. Now I don't know which account is true because both sources are very credible sources so I don't know which one is really how it played out but with history this old I think we just have to choose which one we think is what really happened. I don't know dying from a fever in a prison in the Caribbean sounds pretty feasible um, but we will never really truly know what happened and how their lives played out. I wonder if anybody, let us know in the comments if you've ever heard of Mary Reed actually living in Scarborough, Tobago. Um, let us know in the comments. That would be really interesting. 
but that's it for today's video let me know if you knew anything about these infamous vicious lady pirates of the caribbean and let me know in the comments if you have any uh, additional information that you know about these women and again just a reminder leave your questions in the comments below or on the instagram page i'll put it up here and until next time bye